What is up everybody? This is Ronnie from Canva and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create mockups with Canva. For this, we are going to use the smart mockup integration and I'll show you how to create cool product mockups like this t-shirt right here. So if you are ready, let's go. All right, so let's start this design by finding the right document type, okay? So I need the perfect size. I am going to apply my logo to different products. Uh, so for doing this, I need to create a logo. So if you type in logo here, logo, Canva is going to suggest this document right here. So a logo, which is a square document, 500 by 500 pixel. I could go with this but I find that this resolution of 500 by 500 is a little bit too low. So what I'm going to do is to multiply these dimensions and I'm going to show you a trick because since this is the one by one aspect ratio, you could go all the way up to the limit in Canva and the limit in Canva is 5,000 by 5,000. So if you want to create a custom document with the highest resolution, you would go 5,000 by 5,000. Then I will create this document and I have a nice square uh, canvas right here and some templates. I'm looking for a template for my logo, uh, which is about a hot dog stand. Maybe I can search for a uh, logo and see what comes up. Yes, now I have different categories, food and drink. Maybe I can go find something in there. Yes. Look, this is uh, something good that I can probably use. Look at this. We have the cart. We have uh, a nice color background here. I'm going to simply tweak this uh, to make this more on brand with my brand. OK, so my brand is red and yellow, so I could probably use this yellow right here, but I want to change the red for something like this. I'm going to change all. I'm going to change the text here. This shouldn't say Crescent and Crystal, but Harley's Hot Dogs. OK, I will change this for my red like this. I'm going to change the background color immediately to black. I might change that again. And then the last thing I want to do is to actually have the wheels in my yellow color like this. So they pop more. Perfect. So. Harley's hot dog, food carts, and more. Okay, this is looking good. This will be my logo, but I want a different background here. Maybe I can type in brown. This is another trick, guy. If you are looking for specific colors, you can simply type in the name of the color and see what Canva has in store for you. So if I want a dark brown, yep, Canva will show me some dark browns. I can start with this go to my my color panel right here and go a bit darker by simply dragging this down like this kind of like a dark chocolate all right this is nice harley's hot dogs food cart and more let's use this as our logo okay so now the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to connect canva to smart mockups okay so in order to do this you will have to go to the three little dots right here that say more i'm going to click on this and you will see here a bunch of different uh, apps and it integration uh, for canva so you see pexels pixabay the emojis the qr codes uh, and all of this but if you scroll down a bit you will find smart mockups. So by clicking here, I'll be prompted by Canva to connect my Canva account with my smart mockups account. So I'm just going to do this connect. All right, so connect Canva to your smart mockup accounts. So just go connect and there we go. So if you don't yet have a smart mockup account, you will be prompted to create one. Uh, so creating an account is very easy. You will see a green button here that says get started for free. Um, so you will continue to click on this green button right here. Enter your name, your email, a password and then create uh, your account on smart mockup. Me, I already had a smart mockup account. So uh, this is what I see when I log into smart mockup. But I'm going to go back to Canva for now. So the thing here is that I want to export this logo and be able to use this on smart mockup. So in order to do this, I'm going to just click on the little arrow right here. 
click on show more and you will see that now that smart mockups is connected to canva you will see an option to export or download this into smart mockup so i'm going to click here and save sending this logo to smart mockups your design has been saved view in smart mockup so i'm going to click that it's going to bring me to smart mockup and you see i am connected here so you will have to be logged in in order for this to work and you see that immediately smart mockup has loaded a bunch of different designs here on the templates so your logo in different uh, real life posters signs uh, advertisements, panels. So this is pretty cool. Like you can see cushions here, mugs, coffee, uh, coffee cups, etc., etc. You have so many examples already placed for you on real life objects. So the beauty of smart mockups, of course, is that it helps you kind of visually represent what your product would look like in a real life situation. So it it really makes your product tangible. All right, and you can do this. You can work with smart mockups to promote your products, your physical products, but also your digital products. You could promote uh, some social media posts that you've been working on. You could promote your Instagram account. So you really can go very deep into uh, how to use these mockups. You see, you have all your mockups here. So uh, the different categories you have technology, print, packaging, apparel, like t shirts, hoodies, etc a home decor and social media. So this is really a cool platform, uh, very complementary to Canva, I would say. If you sign up for free, you will have a seven day free trial. Uh, and during this free trial, you see all these uh, mockups right here that have this little padlock, which is actually unlocked for now. It is unlocked, but it is a premium uh, mockup. So that means that after the seven day trial, this will be locked and not available anymore to you, but you can try for free for seven days. And that means you can use all the different mockups that the platform has to offer, which is pretty cool. All right, so I would like to use this mockup on a sign. So I'm going to go to print and outdoor. I need something relatively squared, something like this one, for example. This is a nice advertisement. So let's click on this. It will open my design here, the, the mock-up here, and it says your design here. So you can simply upload your advertisement from, and then you will see a Canva button popping up right here. So this is what I want. I'm gonna use this, and Canva should recognize the save logo that I saved earlier. So select this, and you see you have a real, like a real-time um, preview right here. So I'm gonna say, leave this well-centered like this, crop and continue. And there we go. We have our mock-up like, ready to go. I'm going to download this in a high resolution. Yes, let's imagine that you want to have uh, this logo right here on another billboard, or maybe you want it on a t-shirt. Okay, so I'm going to go to apparel, t-shirt for men. So here in my t-shirt category, I have different t-shirts. So this is the front of a t-shirt and this is the back of a t-shirt. You see the word back here. I'm just going to use the regular t-shirt. So let's see first how it works if I insert my logo here on the front of the t-shirt. So I see one thing straight away is that my logo here has a square background. It doesn't look very nice on that t-shirt. So maybe I can customize the t-shirt to fit that color color shirt maybe let me see yes I can change the color of the t-shirt but I don't have the exact color that I need here so one thing I could do is to go back to Canva and get rid of my background download this as a PNG and transparent background okay so if I do that and that is an option only available to the Canva Pro members uh, if you download your design with a transparent background, I shouldn't have a background and I should be able to insert that on any color of t-shirt because it will only be my PNG logo right here. So I could, I could do this, that's one option. I'm going to download it right now. And I'm going to show you an alternative if you don't have Canva Pro. So that's my, my first logo here without the background. And I will go back a notch. Uh, the alternative would be to grab the hex code of this color. So 2D1305 and to make that color by going to my new palette here to edit. 
you can add colors actually to your palette. So 2D1305, and that's the brown that I had previously in my logo design. Okay, so now I have my colors uh, set here. Okay, I think I can add up to three colors in my palette. So this is great. I'm going to go back to my mockups, back to apparel and back to t-shirts. So I will start by seeing if I can customize the color of this t-shirt properly. Okay, yes, it seems like the right brown. So that's the alternative. And then I will go to image, upload from Canva and take the same image. And yep, it is blending properly this time. So let me just crop and continue. And there, there we go. We have our logo on that t-shirt. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to download this as well. So now I have two things. I have my sign for the street and I have my t-shirt. So what I can do, which is pretty cool, is to come back to Canva. I will create a new page, go back to Smart Mockup, and I will import the two different um, designs that I just created in Smart Mockups. This one right here, my t-shirt looking good. Let me insert that here. So that's how you use smart mockups to create uh, all sorts of real life example of your design to bring your designs to life uh, using smart mockups, using the integration with Canva. And you see the integration is pretty seamless. Uh, you just create them in Canva, send that to smart mockups, use that in your mockups and then download them uh, and you can import that into Canva. And of course, from here, it is really entirely up to you to design something very cool with this. So you could insert that in your catalog and your brand style guide to kind of show how you can apply your logo to different types of merch or signs. Uh, so it's really up to you how to use this uh, from there on. Uh, I'm not going to go and do it in this one tutorial because it's already a little bit long. That's what I wanted to show you guys how to use smart mockups. So remember, if you sign up with a free account, you will have a seven day free trial to unlock all the mockups in the platform. So go ahead and go crazy doing these seven first days. And if you like it, you can always become a member of smart mockups and have access to all the mockups. All right, guys, that's what I wanted to show you for today. I hope this tutorial was useful. I would love to see your mockups in the comment section. So post them. And that's it for today. That was Ronnie from Canva. And I will see you in the next video.